In the previous class, uh, we have studied about the limitations of sensitivity analysis and also I have taken a problem. That problem contained different types of constraints, constraints like less than or equal to type, greater than or equal to type, unequal to type. Then that problem we, we solved with the help of Excel, then I have interpreted the result. Now, I am entering into the applications area, applications of our linear programming problem. That is the agenda for this lecture. Here, what we are planning to today is that uh, application of linear programming in marketing. We are going to take two applications, one is on media selection, another one is on marketing research. That is the agenda for this lecture. Linear programming has proven to be one of the most successful quantitative approaches to decision making. Applications have been reported almost in every industry. These applications include production scheduling, media selection, financial planning, capital budgeting, transportation, distribution system design, product mix, staffing and blending. These applications like scheduling, media selection and so on, we will be covering in detail in coming lectures. We can discuss a variety of applications from the traditional business areas of marketing, finance and operations management. In this course, we are going to emphasize on modeling means that formulating the problem. Once the model is done, we will be solving with the help of computer solution that is using Excel. Then interpretation of output. So, the focus on this course is, is this course is uh, formulation of the problem in the form of mathematical equations, then solving with the help of solver and more emphasis on interpretation of the output. So, the mathematical model is developed for each problem studied and solutions are presented for most of the applications. Now, let us see the applications of linear programming in marketing. So, the application of linear programming in marketing are numerous. In this lecture, I will discuss two applications. One is in media selection, another one is on marketing research problem definition on media selection. The media selection applications of linear programming are designed to help marketing managers allocate a fixed advertising budget to various advertising media. This is very common problem for your marketing managers. We have a fixed advertising budget that budget should be allocated various advertising media so that the objective function is maximized. Here, the objective function in general is reach of that our media. In this problem, I will explain what is exactly the objective function. The potential media for advertising includes newspapers, magazines, radio, television and direct mail. In these applications, that is the media selection applications, the objective is to maximize the reach reaching more number of people and frequency, how often that advertisement has to be played and quality of exposure. Restrictions on the allowable allocation usually arise during consideration of company policy, contract requirements and media availability. This restriction will become constraint. So, constraint may be in the form of company policy or contract requirement and media availability. Now, in this lecture, we illustrate how a media selection problem might be formulated and solved using a linear programming model. This problem is taken from this book Anderson, Sweeney, Williams, Cam, Cochran. What is the problem definition? A company relax and enjoy Lake Development Corporation is developing a lakeside community at a private owned lake. The primary market for the lakeside lots and homes includes all middle and upper income families within approximately 100 miles of the development. 
assume that it is a kind of a real estate company or builders they are planning to construct a home that is the problem this company employed an advertising firm so we call it is bp and j boney philips and jackson to design the promotional campaign so that builders is the builder is seeking the help of an advertising company for promoting their houses what are the different advertising media is available they can go for tv In the tv also they can go for advertisement during day time and evening time then this is one category another category is they can advertise about their uh, houses in newspaper newspaper they can go for daily newspaper and sunday newspaper or they can go for advertising in radio sorry advertising in radio for each advertising media the number of potential customers reached is given in terms of number say if you go for uh, daytime tv so you can reach 1000 people 1000 customers like uh, evening tv 2000 you see that evening tv we can reach more number of people you see in the newspaper category if you advertise in sunday newspaper the reach is 2500 and there is a cost for advertisement in terms of dollar then maximum times available per month how often for example if you go for uh, day time advertisement only 15 times you can advertise then exposure quality units this is they are measuring in terms of your scale so higher the number it is a more exposures for example if they advertise their homes in evening tv program there will be a 90 exposure quality units this is an index which was obtained the higher the number the better it is what are the constraints at least 10 television commercials must be used at least 50000 potential customer must to be reached no more than 18000 dollar may be spent on television advertisement now the problem is what advertising media selection plan should be recommended that will satisfy this constraint what are the decision variables day time tv evening time tv daily newspaper sunday newspaper radio so dtv etv dn sn and r number of times radio is used so the problem definition is that first we should uh, go for what is our objective function here objective function we can increase we have to increase the exposure quality units this is our objective function then otherwise you can have this also and our objective function no problem number of potential customers reached because there may be these two columns may be correlated because directly related but in this problem we are considering to maximize exposure quality so these are our decision variables so 65 day time television evening time television daily newspaper sunday newspaper and radio so dtv etv dn sn are our decision variables and the time available is our constraint for example day time television you can maximum you can go for only 15 numbers it's a frequency evening time 10 daily newspaper 25 sunday newspaper radio and the budget the budget is this column advertising budget so 1500 dtv 3000 etv that should not exceed your 30000 dollar that is given in our problem now let us do the let us form the constraint for televisions what are they the number of day time advertisements and evening time advertisements in tv should be greater than or equal to 10 and the amount spent on television whether it is a day time or evening time should be less than or equal to 18000 dollar and another constraint is we have to go for more than 15000 customers so when you go for day time see this that we can achieve 1000 uh, customers evening time 2000 1500 2500 300 should be greater than or equal to 50000 these are non negativity non negativity constraints now i have brought the screenshot of our the solution now i will i will solve this problem in excel 
Now, we can solve the formulated problem with the help of solver. I have brought this all the equations here on the right hand side. I have formulated this is our decision variable where we, where we will be getting the answer. This is coefficient of our objective function. Here I kept my uh, objective function value. Here are you the resources utilized. As usual, I have formulated with the help of solver. Now, I am going to solve it data solver because this is maximization type okay, simplex solve it. I need answer sensitivity analysis and limits. Now, I go, will go to the answer report. This answer report says that this is the answer report uh, daytime television we should go for 10 numbers daytime newspaper 25 sunday newspaper 2 radio 30 times and here we'll bring this here then we got some slack variables there's a slack variable for some constraint slack variable 0 for some constraint it is not 0 then we can see the sensitivity analysis. In the sensitivity analysis, we are able to see the reduced cost, then we are able to see the dual value under shadow price column. Now, we will interpret this result. I have brought the uh, screenshot of our output, look at this objective function value. So, 2, 3. 7, 0. There is maximization type and we can get the answer say final value look at this uh, DTV 10, 25, 2, 30. Then we can see the slack less than or equal to slack this is surplus variable 0 less than or equal to slack is 3, 3, 3000 surplus variable 11500 and so on. Here also there is a slack variable 2 uh, sorry for slack value 5, 10, 0, 2. Here we can see the reduced cost I will interpret this what is this minus 65 then we can get the dual shadow price and dual both are same. Okay. Then there is a allowable increase allowable decrease. Now we will interpret this answer in detail. First we will explain what is the reduced cost and I will interpret what is the dual value. The reduced cost column in figure indicate that the number of exposure quality units for evening TV would have to increase at least 65 before this media alternative could appear in the optimal solution. So, we will go back here look at this we are getting reduced cost is minus 65 the reduced cost is minus 65. So, what is that meaning that to get some positive value you see that the final value is 0. To get some positive value on evening time television in your objective function, so the, TT, the 65 has to be added so that you will get some positive final value. So, what is our objective function here? You see that we are discussing about evening time television yes this is evening time television along with 90 if you add 65 then we will resolve the problem you will get some solution some value for your number of evening time television advertisement. Okay. Note that the budget constraint has the dual value of 0 0.06 therefore, as 1 dollar increase in the advertisement budget will lead to an increase of 0 0.06 exposure quality units. Now, I will explain the meaning of reduced cost and dual value from our excel output. The reduced cost column in figure which is in the previous slide indicate that the number of exposure quality units for evening time TV this we used this ETV evening time TV would have to increase by at least 65. For example, here this exposure quality 
right it has to be 90 plus 65 would have to increase would have to increase by at least 65 before this media alternative could appear in the optimal solution at present it is not in, the, in our optimal solution if we want to have some value for that evening time television the coefficient of this one has to be increased 90 plus 65 that is the meaning of reduced cost. Then when we see the dual value for the budget constraint it is a 0 0.06 we will go back dual value for the budget constraint is 0 0.06 this one. Therefore, as 1 dollar increase in the advertising budget will lead to an increase of 0 0.06 exposure quality units because this is an less than or equal to type. Then the dual value of minus 25 for constraint 7, where is this minus 25? When you go back, this is your minus 25. Then look at the constraint type H14, yes, this is greater than or equal to type. As I told you, if it is a binding constraint, if the binding constraint is greater than or equal to type, if you add one resources that will deteriorate your solution. What is the deterioration meaning? Here it is objective function that has to be maximized. So, now dual value is negative. So, when you add one more advertisement on the right hand side, when you add on the one more unit on the right hand side, your objective function will decrease by 25 units. So, the dual value of minus 25 for constraint 7 indicates that increasing the required number of television commercials by 1 unit will decrease the exposure quality because it is a negative dual value. It will decrease the exposure quality of advertising plan by 25 units. Alternatively, decreasing the required number of television commercials by 1 unit will increase the exposure quality of advertising plan by 25 units. Thus, this company relax and enjoy should consider reducing the requirement of having at least 10 television commercials. So, what they have to do? This constraint we are talking about, this one. Because it is greater than or equal to type, it is a binding constraint if you add that will deteriorate the solution, when you decrease that will improve the solutions. So, instead of 10 they should go for 9, if they go for 9 our exposure quality will maximized. This is our final advertising plan. So, what this advertising plan says? Uh, go for 10 frequency during day time. So, we know the budget. 1 unit, so it will be consuming, will be consuming 15,000. Daily newspaper 25, then 10,000. Sunday newspaper 2, radio 30. So, our exposure quality will be 2,370. The total customer reached, when you multiply by for because for each, for each frequency we have the number, when you multiply that you will get, we can reach 61,500 customers. We have seen the media selection problem. Now, we will go for another problem that is a marketing research, where we can use our LPP for solving a marketing research problem. What is a marketing research? Organizations conduct a marketing research to learn about consumer characteristics, attitudes and preferences. So, in this context, a marketing research firm's objective is to conduct a survey to meet the client's need at a minimum cost. So, here the cost has to be minimized. The previous problem we have maximized the our objective function. Problem statement, marketing survey company MSI specializes in evaluating consumer reaction to new products, services and advertising campaigns. A client firm requested MSI's assistance in ascertaining consumer reaction to a recently marketed household product. So, the company has introduced a household product, they want to know the reaction of the customers. So, with the help of a marketing research company. During meeting with the client, 
this marketing research company agreed to conduct door to door personal interviews to obtain responses from households with children and households without children. So, they are giving, they are planning to take an uh, interview with households having the children, households without children. In addition, the marketing company agreed to conduct both day and evening, evening interviews. Specifically, the client's contract called for this marketing research company to conduct 1000 interviews under the following quota guidelines. The quota sampling is one of the sampling techniques for collecting the data. What is that quota? What is the quota guidelines? Interview at least 400 households with children, that is the first requirement. Another requirement is interview at least 400 households without children. Next one, the total number of households interviewed during the evening must be at least as great as the number of households interviewed during the day. Next one, at least 40 percentage of the interviews for households with children must be conducted during the evening. Another one, at least 60 percentage of the interviews for households without children must be conducted during the evening. These are the guidelines. So, with the by considering these guidelines, we will go for writing the constraints. So, now what is the problem statement? What is the household time of the day interview plan that will satisfy the contract requirements at a minimum total interviewing cost? So, the company is looking for minimizing this marketing research cost. So, what are the different combinations? See, day time, evening time, they have to interview household where there is a children, there is no children. So, there are possibility day, day see this we can name it D n, D c, day children, this is evening children, this we can name it day no children, this evening no children. So, we are having 4 decision variables that is D c, E c, D n c, E n c. This I have explained in the previous slides, what are the decision variables. The first objective is we know the cost for example, D c is a 20 dollar. So, this has came here. Then E c evening interviewing cost during evening time uh, household with children. So, 25 this one 25 this has come here then 18 then this is 20. So, here we have to minimize the total marketing research cost. Another guideline is interview at least 400 households with children. So, with children means these two combinations. So, D c and E c should be greater than or equal to 400. Another constraint is interview at least 400 households without children similarly here D n c E n c that should be greater than or equal to 400. Next constraint the total number of households interviewed during the evening must be at least as great as the number of households interviewed during the day. What is that that one? evening this one this portions E c and E n c should be greater than or equal to D c plus D n c. So, that means, the company is expecting during evening time interview more number of evening time interview should be conducted whether the household with children or without children. The next constraint at least 40 percentage of the interviews for households with the children must be conducted during the evening. So, evening household with the children that should be greater than or equal to 0 0.4 40 percentage of daytime household with children plus evening time household with children. So, that is why 0 point E c that should be greater than ok E c should be greater than or equal to 0 0.4 D c plus E c. The next constraint at least 60 percentage of the interviews for households without children must be conducted during the evening. 
So, evening no children household should be greater than or equal to 60 percentage of daytime no children plus evening time no children. So, that is ENC the constraint is ENC should be greater than or equal to 0 0.6 DNC plus ENC. Now, I have brought the complete problem. So, there is objective function is minimization type this is a total interview number of interview should be 1000 this is equal to type this household with the children should be greater than or equal to 400 household without children should be greater than or equal to 400 evening time interviews should be greater than or equal to daytime interview evening interviews in household with the children evening interviews in household without children now this problem i am going to solve with the help of solver now i have brought this our complete uh, lp problem then i have formulated in excel so this is the decision variables where we are going to get the answer coefficient objective function so as usual i have formulated now we'll go for solving this problem data solver so this is you should be very careful this is minimization type because the cost has to be minimized so you have to select on minimization change in cell is the same then we have taken all the constraints so one constraint is equal to type all other constraints are greater than or equal to type when you solve it right so i need answer and sensitivity and limits when you solve it so what we are getting so we should household uh, we should uh, go for 240 interview day time with child household with child second one evening time with child so 240 interviews should be conducted day time with household no children the last one says that we should conduct 360 interviews evening time household without children so that will minimize your total marketing research cost then we will interpret this answer report and sensitivity analysis now this is our objective function value 20320 dollar okay so this is number of interview should be conducted okay uh, 240 160 240 360 this is the decision variables day time with children evening time with children day time no children evening time no children then here we can see that the slack variable is there here it is a surplus variable so because it is a surplus variable why we are calling it surplus variable look at the sign of this constraint all are greater than or equal to type okay surplus we will interpret this result so this is our optimal solutions so what you have to do they should go for 240 day time household with children 160 evening time household with children and total 400 no children 600 that will minimize your total marketing research cost now let us interpret the sensitivity analysis so the sensitivity analysis information from figure shows dual value of 19.2 so this one 19.2 for constraint number 1 in other words the value of this optimal solution will increase by 19.20 if the number of interview is increased from 1000 to 1001 because it is equal to type when you increase one unit your your objective function will increase our objective function is minimization of cost so when the number of interview is increased from 1000 to 1001 so the overall cost will increase by 19.20 dollar thus 19.20 dollar is the incremental cost of obtaining additional interviews it is also saving that could be realized by reducing the number of interviews from 1000 to 999 the surplus variable with the value of 200 this one where is surplus variable this one why we are calling it it is constraint is greater than or equal to type the surplus variable with the value of 200 for constraint 3 shows that 200 more households without children will be interviewed than required 
that is we have interviewed 200 additional units, additional sampling units then what is required. Similarly, the surplus variable with a value of 40, this 40 for constraint force shows that the number of evening interviews exceeds the number of daytime interviews by 40. Okay, because it is greater than or equal to type, we have achieved more than what is required. So, where we are getting this information from this column, where this is slack surplus. The 0 value for surplus variable in constraint 5 and 6 here, here, here indicate that the more expensive evening interviews are being held at minimum. So, we should not go for more number of evening time interviews. Indeed, the dual value for 5 okay, here, the dual value for constraint 5 indicate that if one more household with children, then the minimum requirement must be interviewed during the evening. The total interviewing cost will go up by 5 dollar. Similarly, constraint 6 shows that the requiring one more household without children to be interviewed during the evening will cost will increase the cost by 2 dollar that is the way of interpreting the sensitivity analysis. So, in this lecture we have discussed the application of linear programming problem in marketing area. We have taken two problem, one problem on media selection that problem is maximization type then with the help of solver we have interpreted the result. The second problem is on marketing research that is our minimization type that we have formulated the problem, we solved with the help of excel solver then we have interpreted the result. Thank you very much.